Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. I am having a great day, continuing on my online school for my students in my class, but I would like to give you another read aloud video. So if you were able to catch my last video, A Bad Case of the Stripes, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy this book just as much. So I chose another one of my favorite books and you may have heard it before, but that's okay, right? We talked about that last time that we're going to just enjoy these books together and it will be our first experience enjoying them together. But um, this book is called Officer Huckle and Gloria. And I love dogs. Do you guys love dogs? Yeah, if you don't love dogs, maybe you love cats, right? So we all have pets that we love, most of us, and my favorite pet is my dogs, and especially the German Shepherd dogs. Those are my favorite. So Gloria is a German Shepherd police dog, and that's probably one of the reasons why I love this book. But let's get started. So Officer Buckle and Gloria. And this book is written by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Look at what he's standing on. He must have learned that safety tip by standing on it. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Popple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then, one day, Napville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Can you guys make your eyes pop? They're so surprised. Officer Buckle checked on Glory again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. And the audience roared. Look at Gloria. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered and some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. Well, at least they were listening. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Natville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. Okay, can you guys see those drawings? What do you think? 
I want you to just quickly turn and talk to somebody next to you. Why does Officer Buckle think that the students' letters include a lot of imagination when really they're just drawing what Gloria was actually doing? Turn and talk quick. All right, so I'm thinking that Officer Buckle really has no clue what Gloria is doing. Is that what you guys were thinking? Let's keep reading. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire, P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then, one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. What do you guys think? His eyes popped out of his head like the students in the beginning of the story. The next day, the principal of Napville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. No one was there to give the safety tips. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Ah, uh, everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. What would that be? Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. What'd you guys think? What a great story. I love Officer Buckle's safety tips and I think he and Gloria were the perfect team to deliver them to the students. Don't you guys? All right. Until next time. Enjoy reading.